So just what is the process for removing a president from office? Chris Schuler explains how that would work if the president's cabinet were to invoke the 25th Amendment. You have to go home now. We have to have peace. Long after his supporters stormed the U.S. Capitol, President Trump finally released a one minute long video telling them to go home, but also making clear how he felt about this violent mob. We love you. You're very special. And those words coming from the president in the middle of this chaos has many today demanding he be removed from office. It's time to invoke the 25th Amendment and to end this nightmare. The president is unfit and the president is unwell. And the president must now relinquish control of the executive branch voluntarily or involuntarily. The 25th Amendment creates a path to designate a head of state when a president dies or is disabled. But it also allows for a process to remove a president's powers when others believe the president is no longer doing their job. You need the vice president to actually take that first step uh, and you need the people in his cabinet to agree. Political science professor David Halpap says the amendment's been used before for presidents undergoing surgery. But if Vice President Mike Pence is considering to use it to strip the president of his powers in the last 13 days of this administration, he's not sane. Mr. Vice President, would you support the 25th Amendment against President Trump? Do you believe he should be removed from office after today, sir? Uh, as we know, uh, Vice President Pence has been a very loyal supporter uh, of the president over the last four years, uh, but it would take a lot of effort by individuals who have been really the closest to the president uh, for quite a long time uh, to, to get this to move forward. In Green Bay, Chris Schuler, Local 5 News. Thanks, Chris. Now, the vice president and the majority of the cabinet would have to declare the president unfit. Hellpap says the amendment has never been used like this before. Earlier today, Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg said that President Trump's Facebook and Instagram accounts have been suspended indefinitely.